Oh, hi. Hi, friends. I'm not Kyle. You're not Kyle. No, I, I am uh, Robert Meadows III. Robert Meadows III? Is yeah. that really your name? No, it says Robert Meadows. I'm not the third. Oh, okay. I'm oh, the fifth. I'm Justin Gibbing. I'm always here on Tuesday. At least for the most part. I've been here for the last two Tuesdays. Because, Neither have I. Well, Thank you, you know. Nate Tor. Nate Tor. What's up, Paul? Yep. And then we got we got a treat for you. We're keeping the memes going. Uh, we got some Haken. Haken. Uh, I don't care. It says Haken. Haken. I know how it's pronounced. Did you play? <laughs> really? Yeah. I know it's pronounced Haken. Hank. Uh, There's understand. no N. In the, huh? by the A. There's an N by the O N, but like, Hinkin. Like Hank Hill? Yeah, yeah. And we got Abza and Hank Hill. Uh, yeah, we have Mr. Hanky him himself. Oh, Teddy God. Form Border. Teddy, you just made your name a lot more confusing. Teddy FBB Bolt? Yeah. Why? Well, like, I just miss. So you, you, you gotta, you gotta request some Luke thighs tonight. Yeah. Alright, we'll try to put his thighs on camera for you, Paul. Yeah. My dude. Yeah. All right, we're we're gonna get going eventually. Yeah. It looks like Jack likes to shuffle his deck. I wanna like like who else do we know? Uh, Scott likes to shuffle. Yeah. Uh, most people like to shuffle their deck more than play the game. Yeah. The dude. That's what. That's when you do the shuffle song. Yeah. Shuffle song. Do 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 do. Shuffle song. Do 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 do. Look at us go shuffling the cards. This is a they banger, dude. Going. Yep. Sure are. All right. I guess the round's not technically going yet. Doesn't really talk about it, and then he just like. All right. Well, I guess we can talk about the these sweet giveaways. What are we doing these? January subscriber only giveaway. This is cool. There's no ticket needed. Yeah. As long as you uh, subscribe to Twitch Prime, no matter what. Yep. Giveaways based on number of subscribers we get. Sure. If we get to 30 subscribers, we'll give away a Ultimate Masters Back to Basics. Nice near mint. If we get to 40 subscribers, we'll get a giveaway an Ultimate Masters Dark Depths. And if we get to all the way up to 60 subscribers, we're going to give one of our lucky subscribers a foil mana vault from Ultimate Masters. So yep. That's going to be pretty hot. Yeah, then uh, we do have a weekly giveaway of a core 2019 Crucible World. Um, traditional rules, uh, you know, um, 25 points per ticket, no max tickets. So... You, you can have infinite tickets if you want. Infinite tickets. Yeah. You gotta get, you gotta get a Crucible World. Yeah. That card will probably not be $12 for long. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a commander staple. I mean, that and, you know, it was once $80. Well, it was? Yeah, when it was, you know, not printed in standard. Yeah. So. So we right. got the Manland Mirror. Mm -hmm. Creature Land. Wait, which one's better here? Rage and Ravine? Oh, Bob. Well, I mean, obviously Bob's better. Can we see the Abzan deck list? Maybe. We will ask Jack if he feels like writing it down or, like, you know, laying it out for us. But no promises. Nameless, Nameless Inversion. Uh, modern staple. Night right number one. Yeah, so the reason why you play Nameless... So the reason why people play Nameless version in his deck... Also, before anyone asks how Pharaoh could t cast that Liliana Veil... Uh, There's a Twilight Mire. Yes. YouTube, there's a Twilight Mire in play. Don't ask. Twilight Mire. Twilight Mire lets him get double black. Yep. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so Liliana's not even very good versus the Haken deck. No. Uh, I mean, he Jack didn't even discard a card, really. Yeah, he discarded Raven's Crime, which has retrace, but it's a life and alone deck. Um, Matthew, can you pull up Haken so we can explain what why the deck is what it is? <laughs> Paul knows the memes. Yep. Twilight Miner equals best land. Hashtag Zach Harris. Yep. I was talking to a guy uh, in the classic that was playing Jund. Yeah. And he was telling us how uh, he's been playing the deck forever. And he he used the Twilight Mire. And I was like, oh, sweet. You know you know the tech. You know the <laughs> nice Twilight Mire there. And it's much better than like any other land. He's like, well, you mean you're not wrong. I was like, uh, it's especially funny because, you know, then I had to explain the meme to him. Yeah. Did he laugh? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he chuckled a little bit, but yeah. it's, it's not nearly as funny to people that aren't yeah. involved. So the reason how this deck works, um, it's like a loam strategy deck. Yeah, so the idea is to put life and loam in your deck, uh, in your graveyard. Yep. And then every single turn, you, dredge. Uh, you draw three cards instead. And you just rebuy a bunch of lands and or... Lingering Souls, Retrace. Lingering Souls, and then eventually you hit this Haken, which allows you to play Knights from your graveyard. Knights like Knight of Autumn, Knight of the Reliquary, and Nameless Inversion, since it's a changeling, 
counts as a knight. Yep. So you get infinite removal spells, all that jazz. And uh, it's a pretty sweet build. They, uh, Jack and his team was on Triple Haken over the weekend. And they went, they finished 6-3, and three, just missing day two. He had to the team of Jessup, Pete Ingram, and Frank Skarn. Yep. It's a pretty good team. Apparently the deck can't beat Bant Spears to save his life. Uh, Billy said he beat it once. But, no, I believe that. Out of how many times? Uh, like four. Yeah, Ling uh, Liliana seems pretty bad against this deck, to be honest. I am Falcor. I mean, He's, I guess. Like, Scavenger does do a lot here. It would, yes, if Feral could draw one. It would exile three things, technically, right? Grizzly Salvage? He's got oh. a Fatal Push in hand. Yeah. Wow, this is hot. All right, well, we take land. I mean, the Lingering Souls in the Graveyard isn't bad. No, I know. <laughs> but the Triple Assassin's Trophy going to the Graveyard is actually bad. It's a little awkward. Mm. Do you just kill Liliana this turn? I think so. It doesn't matter, really. Like, I mean, he's going to want to keep that Fatal Push in hand in case a scavenging use does come yeah. down. So I think he's going to want to remove the Liliana. So that way he can't just keep taking cards out of his hand. Then yeah. play the Field of Ruin so Raging Ravine can't do anything. And Feral is just about locked at that point. Yeah, like a Motion Pulse would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Pushing. I like how he has to tap Twilight Mire. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't want to fetch. Yes, these are Dr. Evil tokens. Dude, Maelstrom Pulse would be hot right now. He has a one of. Oh, well, he's got it. Yeah, I say. So, but if Jack knows what's up, he can just push the one being targeted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I, I expect Jack to see what's, what's going to happen. He might not. See the future. I think I think Jack will see the line that if he goes to Maelstrom Pulse, the thing you you push your guy to you save your other four. Oh, uh, that's what you, you know what. That's what you want to believe. But um, I was Cuban yesterday, uh -huh. and my opponent didn't know how the Spell Queller Hostage Taker interaction worked. Okay, okay. So you Hostage Taker to Spell Queller, uh -huh. and didn't realize you could use it Spell Queller to counter my Cryptic Command. Nice. But then uh, he countered my Venser. I got a pretty good one for you. All right. Uh, so my opponent has Ancestral Recall in his deck. He also has Snapcaster. So that's pretty annoying. So at the end of my turn, he Ancestrals. He goes up to like a million cards. And then he plays some stuff. He leaves three mana open. I go to attack. Um, then he plays his Snapcaster and Ancestrals in the middle of combat. So he draws three more cards and taps himself out. He goes up to seven cards in hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had two cards left in my hand. So I play my land and then I balance. And have any creatures, and then he discarded his hand. How did that feel? Uh, it felt like balance was far higher up in, on the power level than ancestral recall. So what you're saying is take balance. Wait, what? What was your colors? Mono white. Uh, I was white blue planeswalkers. Well, I was bent planeswalkers. That sounds about right for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a Roberto Zach Hanner. Bolt the Sham I like that. Yeah, Lily's dead, I take for it. Seems reasonable. Um, what do we need here? So this is a turn to draw Maelstrom Pulse. I'll say, yeah, if you're Feral, you need Maelstrom Pulse. You need Scavenging News. Wait, do we just draw it? No, we do... You need Scavenging News. All right, we need to ooze right now. So you're going to need to ooze... There's a Fatal Push over there, right? There's no black mana. All right, so he's going to need to eat... There's no Loam, so you're probably going to get rid of Nameless Inversion. Yeah. All right, so Nameless Inversion... Um, but like this, like so, like Jack Straw hasn't been that good. It's like, I mean, he has three lands, so it's whatever. Yeah, it's like he hasn't found a Loam or a Haken at this point, or any Knights. I think Feral knows what's up. Uh, push. I'm gonna push. Okay, we're gonna eat. Yep. Yeah, green. So he hit triple green. Uh, Blood Crypt leaves Twilight Mire. Yep. Raver's kind of really doesn't matter anymore. If I'm being honest. Would you say that's true? Yeah, no, Raven's Crime's useless at this point. I'll say we're at the point where Feral's top decking, and now with Scavenging is gone, he's probably has, he probably has two more Scavenging in the deck, but he's going to need to find, like, Blood Braid into Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying, like, Double Souls isn't good against Jun, but, Rihanna, like, um, this is, like, still not a good draw by Jack at all. No, 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 yeah. I mean, it, it's fine, like... 
Uh, lingering, like, what is it? Two lingering souls is very good versus Jund. Yeah. His own Liliana. And so, Lili so, so, like, now, like, Feral's gonna get Lily locked here. Yep. Yep. All right. Feral is done playing the game. Phil knows this song and dance. I feel like he's done it once or twice. Yeah, um, what, the Liliana mirror? Uh, well, I mean that, or, you know, just getting locked, or locking people out with Liliana. Yeah, or he might have done that once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> we can't have Diabolic Edict in Modern. I mean, two Come mana on. instant, yeah, that's a little too good, right? Dude, dude, I love Diabolic. I have Spanish ones I want to use. Spanish? Yeah. You just choose weird languages for all of your cards. So when I was like playing uh, Grixis uh, Pyro and Legacy, uh -huh. um, I looked at the diabolical, non-English Diabolical Edicts on TCG Player, and those were the only ones in non-English. Oh, interesting. Is he either Spanish or Latin? No, Italian. Probably Italian, I guess. Dude. Yeah. I'm excited for the Punishing Fire Unban. You know what I'm excited for? Stoneforge Mystic? No, I don't have my place on. I can't unban it yet. <laughs> we can't unban it. Yeah. Right, you wasted all of your uh, fun, uh, Star City money on Narnum Renegade. Narnum Renegade. Yeah. No, no, that wasn't even the most of it. I actually bought a lot of upcoming standard singles. Uncommon standard singles. No, upcoming. Upcoming. Okay, got it. Got I it. bought three Domneries. Three Domneries. Oh, like okay, you bought a lot of the pre-order stuff. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Did you get some uh, Van Affairs? Or are you gonna wait? Past Van the twenty dollar price tag. That they have. What's that? Prime speaker Van Affair. It's the pod pod creature. Uh, so oh yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. No, I didn't get any of those. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect you to. I don't like I don't like that card in standard. Looks like Zach's gonna go to Indy, Robert. He he heck yeah, Zach. I'm one there. You know what I'm playing in standard already. Um, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say Teamer. So do you play standard at all, or is it just yeah, I'm also thinking playing Teamer. My dude. I'm going to be doing some team of ramp. Uh, Ramping into what? Uh, you, you get the Hydra to draw you a bunch of cards. Yeah, and then also the uh, in, in the sideboard, you get the four blue spell to take control of your opponent's board. And then you also have the uh, instant speed fireball that lets you cast spells for free. So I bought uh, four of the uh, Grove Chamber Guardians. I don't know what that is. Squadron Crab. Squadron Crab. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I bought two of the Worms. Two Worms. Um, two or three Hydras. Okay. Most of it, $50 of it was actually Domri. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think that card's good. It seems fine. Yes, no, it's good. Um, I don't know how much I'm actually playing it. I just want three just in case I do. That's fair. I'd say it's probably going to be like a solid two of every now and then. You'll see the three of. But four mana... Oh, also about four spell breakers. Four spell breakers. Rule spell breakers. Rule spell breakers. Yeah, that card's gonna be insane. Yeah, I bought four. I like mm -hmm. snapped that off. Um, yeah. I bought four of the Mister Snake. Yep, yep. I'm waiting for the split rare card for Simic. Uh, the, yeah, they haven't showed that one yet. Yeah, they showed Gruel and. If John doesn't win, I'm going to riot. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be Gruel Falcor. Rob, what fires? You have, you have to be Gruel. The, the riot, Falcor, not Jun. Dude, maybe the fire, like maybe I, I play expansion explosion also in that deck. I don't know. I'm I'm still I'm still figuring out the deck. Yeah, I'm saying, I mean, I, I just have like the ideas in my 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 head. And like you I have don't the expansion explosion too. That's another good one. Like I just want to play like teamer X spells. Like that just sounds like a lot of fun to me. Uh, I just want to play teamer mid range. I know. I mean, that's where my heart is. I know. You just don't have a one mana death toucher though. I have, like, 200 of those. <laughs> oh, well, not in standard. Hey. Thoughtseize and Demons and Banefires. That's probably, no, that's probably the smart move, Zach. Yeah, Angrath's going to be a solid card. Yeah. Playing Elves in standard. All right, going to five. Yeah, for Jun. Yeah, Jun's going to five. <laughs> I'm not sure how good that is. Versus not good. the Hacken deck. I, mean, I guess Hacken is, like, kind of a control deck, so Mulliganing's not that bad. Yep, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Scrambling for a ley line. I don't yeah. think he's ever done that. That is there a known deck list for Haken decks yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's Abzan Haken. That's yeah. like you know your standard Haken deck. 
or Hoken deck. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So over the weekend, Zach Mulligan, like he kept like two sevens. Uh huh. Out of all the rounds he played, and he played mono bad matchups like Bant Spirits, Chris's Death Shadow, and uh, Phoenix. Yeah, but isn't in fact like a pretty like a solid Mulligan deck? No, not really. I, I guess not. Yeah. I, I I don't really play Infect, so I, I don't know. Uh, no, like, Bad Space, this is a bad matchup. Yeah, yeah, it's just infinite blockers. Yeah. The Salamander uh, actually seems pretty sweet, Teddy. It does. I'm excited for that card. One mana 5-5, five five, or two mana 5-5. Five five. Yeah, that seems great. I'll say, yeah, I think that would actually be pretty good. In, like, I think it's better in the formats. I'll say, I think you can actually see play in, like, the Shadow decks. Like, it, 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 well, you want it in, like, a Thought Scour deck, is it, what I'm thinking. It interacts weird with Gurmag Angler. It does. It, it does, yeah. I mean... Maybe, like, a, a Soul Tie Shadow build without, um... The fish? No, you need the fish. Fish is just too good. It's well, like, if you play, like, Soul Tie Shadow with Goyf, um, mm -hmm. you're more incentivized to... Keep uh, things in the graveyard? Yeah. BBE is how you come back. Rant about that card. Well, I don't like to listen to the Holy Diva, Jason. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, say so I. I don't spend my time watching every. And I just don't like Holy Holy Diva. Oh, uh, she's fine. You haven't watched a lot of her Twitter or read a lot of her Twitter. Oh no, I have. Oh. But there's a lot of garbage fire for Magic Twitter. Oh yeah, there is. So. But I just don't like Holy Diva as a person. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, down tick. Yeah. Adam. If Phil wins this, it's amazing. Phil wins this? Feral. Feral. I heard I mean, Phil, if Phil also, won it, also, if Phil Jones does win any games tonight, it would be amazing. I'll be so excited for him. Same. So, we have a... Um, I think what the play pattern Feral is going to do is K-Command, bring back BBE this turn, and hope he doesn't have another Lily. I mean, he's got two cards in hand. It's very hard to see, but there is a backup card. Yeah. I can't remember what it is. I mean, it seems like Jax is throwing all lands again. Uh, Phil's playing my modern Highlander deck. There's a, that's a Hoken. He can't play that card. I know. <laughs> uh, so he's actually probably relying on that Lily to do a lot more than it looks like. Yeah. Murmuring boss. Dude, that fetchable tri -land. Yep. Uh, I'm just kind of glad... Um, uh, Mark Larson isn't here, so we, we wouldn't... No, I want him to be here. I don't even want to try and guess his deck, though. Like, it looked like he Bad. put, like, two of each good card in Modern in a deck, and then four gifts, and said, all right, let go. Oh, this is not looking good for Feral. Has Jack played a land yet? Uh, I don't believe so. Well, so you can just shock a land uh, and double discard? Uh, does he have... Yeah, he has Godless Shrine. Yeah, Godless, yeah. Well, does he have two lands on yes, top of Yes, he does. Well? Okay. Got him. It was Assassin's Trophy. Yeah. One, yeah. I mean, he doesn't have much. He does this. I mean, so once again, like. Oh, he can retrace Raven's Crime target himself to get the Hoken out of his hand. You can? Yes. It's target player. Holy, that's insane. <laughs> yeah. So that's probably what he's going to end up doing at some point. Or at least that's what I would imagine he's going to do. Uh, what, what knights are down there? I don't think any. Uh, okay. I believe it. He, like, he has to answer Trophy. Bob. Trophy. Trophy the Bob. I mean, he can still retrace this turn. I mean, like, Hogan just in the graveyard by himself doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If there's anything else in the graveyard and there's a reason for him to do it, I would see him doing that this turn. It's not like uh, Raven's Crime is going to do anything else. Yeah. Flips three BBUs in a row. I mean, that's typically how John does it. I mean, he... Feral wouldn't mind three BBs in a row. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't got to slow roll us. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, eat the Raven's Crime right now. Raven's Crime? I mean, I guess Feral has to be the control deck here, right? Yeah, I mean... Way, what, wait, which deck is playing which role here? I would imagine, like, the Hoken deck's trying to be control. So, like, he has to eat Raven's Crime eventually. So, the reason why he should have done it now is because, or, like, when he had priority, is because, like, there's no in-between where uh, it stops Jack from playing Hoken. Yep. Well, he just did the Raven's Crime on himself. Yeah. Like I said. 
And he's going to play Hoken. Hoken's a 3-3? Three, three? Can you bring back Hoken again? <laughs> yeah, I'll say, what other words are on Hoken? Uh, if he's... When you just put into your graveyard, you lose two life. Yeah. Uh, you may play night cards from your graveyard as long as Hoken is in play. And you can play Hoken from your graveyard, but not anywhere else. Yep. All right, so we might just go scavenger sca 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 aggro. Uh, I think we're going to be activating a... Anger is pretty good. Yeah, that's, a, that's fine, I think. All right, so is Feral winning this mall to five? Maybe. It depends uh, how Jack draws from here. Like, he's got a bunch of cards that actually... Yeah, actually Lingering Souls would be insane. Lingering Souls, Liliana. Uh, goes well, Liliana deck, just like... Uh, what answers the scavenging is. Yeah. That's kind of what he needs to do right now. Scatter Groves, Modern Staple. Yep. Wait, did he get the good one? The... Uh, Ah, he found the answer to it. So if I just draw no land, I just want to activate this ravine right away for Pharaoh just to like, get this ghost square out of the way and force like Jack to try and find a loam or something like that. Yeah, I mean... I'm pretty sure if we have an advantage bar, I still think it's in Jack's favor right now. He made us draw a two-drop also. Or like a Liliana right here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, like Pharaoh knows what to do. Pharaoh knows what he needs right here. I'm not saying Pharaoh's out of this game. I'm not I'm either. Just saying I think we're favored towards Jack right now. Yeah, so he probably had a K command. If I did, wow! If I had to take no, that he would he would have draw stepped it. I, I still don't get why we haven't eaten that Raven's Crime. Because uh, he doesn't care about it. Yeah. The only reason I would. All right, <laughs> Goyce may be uh, good enough. Five, six, I'm guessing. Vona, Knight. Uh, Does it have left lifelink death touch? It has vigilance lifelink, no death touch. Uh, but it's Six, also tap, pay seven, vindicate. Vindicate. Goes the one. Hunt ma oh Hunt yeah. Master. All right, this is going downhill real fast for Jack. I like the token he used. Wait, that's not a hunt master. That's a. Hey Matt, tell Pharaoh he has a one-two spider. I like his spider. <laughs> right, right. Spider is not Huntmaster. This is Huntmaster. Uh, Savage. Yes. Grizzly Savage. Lingering Souls, Lingering Souls. Jesus. And Loam. Rip. Okay, well, uh, attack. He, he, he can't, like... You can't just pass turn. Because then Feral kills him. He obviously has to flashback the faith, uh, Lingering Souls this turn. Yep. So he gets the chomp. He attacks. Like, Feral's not going to blow the Huntmaster for the Vona. No. Not both parts of the... I, like... I mean, he might, but then he just dies to the Lingering Souls. Does he, though? Yep. Oh, okay. He's going for it. I think so. I don't think Feral will be able to... I think with Life in the Loam in the Graveyard, Jack will be able to find enough action to keep himself alive. All right, that's fair. With the four extra turns he's given himself. He's going to draw a Millicent Pulse right here. Yeah, I'd say. It's probably K-Command. I mean, K-Command's not even very good. It gets back Master. It can't. Because there's a Life in the Loam. So he puts lands in his hand and then he Ravens crimes him. He does it. We shouldn't eat the Raven's Crime! I mean, probably. Cast it on... Ghost Quarter, whatever, whatever. Or we just, like, Dome Jack for two. So, first thing. Dome Jack for two. Raven's Crime on you. It was a land. Alright. Flashback, more la uh, Lingering Souls. Attack for one. Turn. All right. This is, I mean, it's getting exciting. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's a good sound right there. Huh. <laughs> Ishkana? Ishkana. I mean, I just played <laughs> Ah, spiders. Um, also, yes, Feral's out of basics. Yeah. Uh, I know his list. 
I also know his list. He had he's not. Farrell refuses to play the mountain ever, and those are his four basics of choice. Yeah. So, do you like how I knew exactly what it was when he said, "Huh"? That's good. Yeah. All right. So, how so, does Jack beat Ishkana? He has to not dredge right here. He has to actually take a real draw and get like assassin trophy or a removal spell. Nameless Aversion is Nake for Nake for right? Or Nake for plus four? It's plus three minus three. I believe. Yep. Yeah, it said, I said we couldn't dredge right here. We had to take an actual draw because, like, now Feral can just attack for everything to activate Ishkana yeah. and not miss lethal like I did against you in playtesting. Yep. yep. I mean, it happens, man. Yeah. Sometimes math is hard. Hey, man. It you, you just get caught up with, like, what's happening. Yeah. And then you don't look at life totals and you're just like, all right, uh, just don't kill me. It's like, yeah, no, it's a real problem of mine. Are you sure? No, no, that's an actual problem of mine. Yeah, you get more worried about the, like, board. what's happening on yeah. the board. Than like, I typically, cause it's because, like, how often do I actually play decks that actually just, like, go for lethal? Not very often. It's like mid-range, you just kind of, like, you, you typically play the decks that sit there and go, uh, like, back and forth for a while until you've somehow volleyed that you're the only person that is currently has anything in play. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the decks I play, too, so. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, and like that, that game I know exactly, like, would have run away with it if I wasn't already dead. <laughs> yes. Is this, like, <laughs> weird, like, oh, I have lethal right here? What? Life, it's probably, it's probably good, but, yeah, um, I was, so I didn't put it in my deck for mm. the SCG, and then I was, like, all right, there for all right. a couple damage Do is there anything in sideboards that you, you'd imagine that Jack would bring in, knowing that there's Ishkana and Huntmaster? Damnation, if he has it. Um, Knight of Damnation. I, I'm not even going to pretend to know what these deck lists are. So I know Feral's. Oh, I can pull up Feral's and look at his. But are you yeah. just pull mine out? Uh, it doesn't matter. You yeah. know, one of them. Um, oh, well, he's changing something. I think. I imagine Feral just took out all the discard. Yeah, no, you you don't want to be uh, fighting that war. Yeah, he he so probably so he probably like decided like a traditional Jun matchup, I mean, I that's, that's but instead of like bringing the three Formidator mages, like which is like the flex spot you can bring in, he brought in the anger and spell bomb. Yeah, that seems good. Because like he brought in the grindy package. Uh, I don't know if he brought he probably yeah he definitely brought in lasso. Uh, Lily lasso sounds yeah it's good versus lingering souls. Yeah, so like he just brought in ang the two angers and a spell bomb. Because, like, yep. what do you, you can't really pull Mid Mage Jack out of the game because of loam. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I, you I cut him off green sources, you know? Like, if if John, uh, if uh, Farrell over there was playing the Blood Moon version, he could really get him. He's, no, Blood Moon's not good right now in John, uh, in my like, opinion. I would say it's probably not good in John, like, ever. Graph Digger's Cage would be he good have if one. he had it, but he doesn't have one. Yeah, um. Uh, well, it's good versus Lingering Souls in Haken, which is like, you know, 70% yeah. of the deck. And like all the knights. Well. Yeah. And Nicholas Cage. And like every, like, it Haken's out, like, Cage is like, if Haken's in your graveyard, it like invalidates the entire deck. Mm -hmm. On Domri. Um, I like the card. Um, you need 26 creatures, get 1.5 uh, creatures out, out of the hit of Domri Raid's Night 2. He's done some math. No, Frank Carson did. Frank Carson's done some math, <laughs> and Robert read about it, Yeah, where you need that. Uh, uh, overall, I think uh, Domri's very, like, he, he's solid. Like, you know, double riot is insane. Huh? Double riot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Being able to double riot. choose both modes on a riot, yeah. Or just double or haste? Double haste. It means it's super fast. Uh, it means it comes into play the turn before you pay for it. <laughs> yeah. That would be a weird mechanic. Uh, it was one. Of, it was unhinged. It was super haste. What? Like you can play it, and then you have to pay for it. Yeah, you put it into play, then the next turn you have to pay for it. So it's like a weird echo. Kinda, but you don't have to pay for it the turn it attacks. The, the first turn. Just all super haste. Uh huh. Do let's get like let's, let's give creatures super haste. No. Why not? That would be annoying to play against as a control deck. Yeah. 
There's if, enough things that you have to worry about as a control deck to play against. Well, you don't play control anymore. You play Phoenix. Uh, no, on the classic, I was playing control, man. You were? I was having the time of my life. Yeah, no, after after o, o 05 to start the uh, the Open, I was like, I, I want to play Phoenix. And then I went over and talked to Teddy for a minute. He was like, I mean, you have a foil deck for a reason, right? It's like, <laughs> all right. I don't it. want to play it. Um, yep, and I was having the time of my life. So, you know what you know, I liked about Top 8 in the Standard Classic? What? I called that shot, like, two, like a month ago. I think it was mostly Scrub out of main event top eight classic. Yeah, no, like I told, like I was at Phil's house. I was like, yeah, even if I like, even if my team scrubs out of the main event, I'm like, I'm probably just going top eight the standard classic. It's no biggie. No biggie. Yeah, if only could have got that one more win. I mean, I it, it gave me enough point. Like I'm at like I seven mean, points now. I'll say. I only need eight more now. Yeah, it's not gonna be that big a deal. <laughs> like, oh how about that? GP oh, surgical. Oh, the GP finish where the guy had to leave to make a flight yeah. so he can make it back home to do you know, stuff. real responsibilities of being an adult. Yeah. And people are giving him crap about it. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like, it is very surreal when you see, like, you know, somebody make it to the finals of a GP and just kind of go, well, life got in the way. Uh, I'll take what I can and yeah. go. Yeah, I like, like, Magic players don't understand that. There are, there are a large number of players out there that don't quite understand that. Or that don't see the significance in, uh, like... Of real life. Uh, of real life, yeah. It's like, where, like, it sure would be cool to, you know... Win a GP. A prof uh, you know, win a GP or be a professional Magic player or whatever. But it's just very unrealistic unless you are, what, top 32 people in Magic period at this point? Yep. So I think we may... So, Loam... All right, Conspiracy, nope. so they don't ban KCI. No, they're going to ban it. I'll say, yeah, I'll say. So, do you think KCI is going to ban? Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, I don't understand why you would not ban it at this point. Uh, yeah, Matt Nass posted his numbers. He's over the last five GPs or events he's gone to. He has an eighty-three percent win percentage with it. Kalidus. That's pretty good. Kalidus Cassidy. Are you ready for Carnage? You tell me there's a Carnage Tyrant coming? No, Carnage as in Venom Two. Oh, Venom Two has Carnage in it. Well, do you not see? Do you not see Venom? I did see Venom. Do you see the? Do you stay for the end? Yeah. The. I don't remember it. It was a while ago. It was uh, when the guy Venom went. The Venom character went into um the uh, prison and met, saw that redhead. Saw the redhead. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's Cletus Cassidy. Okay. Cletus Cassidy's Carnage. Oh, great. Yeah. Very exciting. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Uh, I, I thought it was um, uh, Tobey Maguire. No, not Tobey Maguire. Uh, who's who's Eric F Foreman? All right, I, I, I'm not supposed to bring up this bad movie since I can't even think about it. Spider-Man 3? Yeah. I hate that movie. Yep. C can, can that... I will erase that. So I tried to rewatch it one time. Like, mm. I can't do this. I'm out. That's fair enough. Uh, Idle Clouds, I do think it's going to be KCI itself because it's the one card that bends the most rules. No, well, man. it doesn't really bend rules. It warps them to, uh, like, it, it's what makes the deck so complicated and t makes the deck exist where Mox Opal and Ancient Stirrings are problems, but not for the reason that KCI uses them. Someone time out I am Falcor, please. Was a cinematic <laughs> masterpiece. I'm dead serious by this about this, by the way. <laughs> poor, poor Falcor, Get, getting the real hate. Do you blame me for saying that? I mean, so I like I. You probably get <laughs> okay. Untime him out. That's way too long for that. Wow, six hundred seconds. What was that ten minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Ban every single card in the deck. Ban the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Sorry, Harrison, Harrison, we're trying to keep the stream somewhat PG-13. Not too many cuss words. Ban the whole thing. Is that a... What? Is that a... What, what white card is that for... Which one? In Jack's hand. Jack's hand. I, I, I see trophy. Um, trophy. I'm not going to try and guess cards in the Hacken deck. Or the Hoken deck. So did we finally eat Raven's Crime? 
he may have answered Raven's crime. Yeah. Field one of the ravines. That doesn't seem very good. That's not going to do anything. Uh, oh, that's just a field ruin. That's not a field ruin. No, is it a Lyra? I have no idea what that is. No, it's a. It's a Lyra. It's a foil Lyra. That can't no, be a no. Lyra. It's a. It's, it's a white Lyra. card, I think. It's not Lyra. No, that's not EE. It's a white card. Cobalt and old school ops are where the markets are headed. Oh yeah, isn't I am Falconer the guy who like trades in old school ops? What if we ban Scrap Trawler? What if we ban Northern Renegade? I think you'll cry. You're I would there. actually. <laughs> um, there goes all my investments. So I think if you ban Scrap Trawler out of the deck, yeah. uh, Scrap Trawler. I don't think there's a reason to ban Scrap Trawler because Scrap Trawler has a unique enough effect where you can find use for it somewhere else in something that isn't as busted. What is that card? Crib Swap. Crib Swap. We found it. We figured it out. I saw the picture. Uh, can, can you bring up Crib Swap? I actually don't know what it does. Exile target creature. Give him a 1-1 one, one changeling. A 1-1 one, one Imma Handy. Oh, yeah. And it's a it changeling all creature spell. Types. That is all creature types. Another one of those. Uh, yeah. That's a nice foil. Yep. It's a Japanese foil. Is that pack foil? Yeah, it is. Yeah. You can tell Japanese by the border. Lowen. I mean, Japanese Lauren foil. Okay, so Pharaoh's finally knows Crypt Swap, not Crypt. Here we go. Figured it out. Ravine. Oh, it looks like Feral found the uh, found a way. Field that. Silly scavenging news ruining all the graveyard decks fun. Dude, scavenging news was that it, how uh, I was able to beat a um, blah, 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 KCI player game one. KCI, yeah, no. Uh, when I was playing my uh, Bant cards deck, yeah. uh, like I like to refer to, you yeah. know, not the spirits or whatever. Uh, I cocoed into a scavenging use on yeah. turn two, and the KCI deck just looked at me like, well, that's a problem. <laughs> or not turn two, but turn like three or whatever. Mm -hmm. He was just kind of like, um, oops. Yikes. Well, that's bad. So I think with Ghoul Spellbreaker, I may play Teamer Company in Modern. Teamer Company. Dude, I can company into. What other red creatures get you anywhere? Yes. Pia and Alar. Pia? You just want simple Pia. Well, it makes a 1 1. All right. And you can hit it with company. You can't hit mom and pop. You're right. You cannot hit mom and pop. I'm, I'm trying to like think of all the good company hits. Um, I'm trying to think of like solid. Savage Knuckleblade. Nux. Big Nux. Magus of the Moon. <sighs> Magus. 42 Thopters from Psy. Turn 4 with no KCI. Just Trawler and... Sai? How do you make so much mana, Harrison? Dude, so um, Tygon Predator Deceiver Exarch. Okay, those are blue. Rogue Refiner. Those are blue and blue green. What's what, was that teamer y'all? <laughs> teamer y'all. See, when I say teamer, the people come flocking. See, look, our views are sixty now. Second I mentioned teamer. We need, you can't, you can't, Falcor, you can't Coco into a key. But I can play it. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Why? I can play a one of Cord for a one of Kiki. Why don't you just play Kiki Cord right. then? Yeah, that's still pretty good. Because I don't get Rogue Refiner. You could. It's Kiki Cord. You literally put whatever you want into it as long as you end at Kiki Kiki Restoration Angel. You're right. <laughs> Company into that to untap Kiki. Three Mox Opals, four One Drops in hand, make mana keep going. All right. Yeah, that's a... Uh, oh, yeah, you did Ransom. Anyone see that Blue White Taxes deck floating around MGG Goldfish? You know Blue what? Taxes. I I've called, seen it a couple times. I said that was going to be a thing of forever ago, ever since uh, Spell Lavinia. Queller. Lavinia Spell Queller is a solid combination. Display and Displacer. Sir, Vixer, Reflector Mage, yeah. Spell Queller... Um, Lavinia. This is a clock right here for J young Jack Granny. Mean, probably dead. I think he's got a trophy in hand still. He hasn't figured out what to use it on. He's gonna no, he used it. Oh, he Look. Did? Uh, I thought he had two trophies. Maybe he, got, maybe he drew another. I don't know. I May something. the world never find out. Eldritch Evolution. 
you Kiki boys are looking for. See, Eldritch Evolution. Oh, dude. Wait, I could... w- I'm pretty sure in your team or deck, you're going to end up with Noble Hyrax then. Like, you can't have, like... Uh, yes, can't... I can. Okay. I have Birds of Paradise. Oh, wow. Uh, Thank you, J-Mac. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, J-Mac. Oh, no, I can come in the V-Click. V-Click, yeah, that's that's possible. It's oh, Nameless card. Inversion... Does that really do anything? So we have to fetch a block with Shaman Vent. This is a weird line. So he's going for it. So we can. What what do we want to trade with? So uh, I think you want to get rid of Raging Ravine. It's well, no, you have more answers to Raging Ravine. So like, assuming you have a Field of Ruin or something in your graveyard. Oh, Rip dead. Uh, Float some mana. Make that big and then die. Yeah. Okay. Five, good one. Going to one. Wait, no, no, the Shamble Met's dead. He figured it out. Yeah. Saw the line. Company into Rabble Master. I mean, that, that's what I was thinking. It was like the best red creature I could think of. And Legion War Boss. Rabble Master or War Boss. Sure. Oh, what's We're up, guys? That, yep. I don't. I'm not gonna do that. That's not me. Robert, here I beat Harlan. I'm not the teamer. I'm not the teamer champion. How? You, you bet Harlan, and now you're not the teamer champion. I'm sorry to hear that, Harrison. Yeah. Um. Where's our Twitter handlers? You guys typically have Twitter handlers. I know. Why don't we have those up there? Matt, my Twitter Twitter handle is Norn Rob. If you didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know that's, that's like a thing you do on Tuesdays, but not on Thursday. Well, it's because Luke doesn't have Twitter. Oh, I mean, it's also because me and Kyle specifically requested that we put those up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is the payout for this event I mean, OG Ops? It's Narnum Rob. It's not, but kind of. Hey, they got my memorized. Well, oh, yeah, because really my easy. Twitter's never. I mean, my Twitter's pretty easy, too. Yeah, is it, it's Narnum underscore Rob, right? No, no, just Narnum Rob. Just Narnum Rob? Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, you're a title. Title. Um, it was supposed to say, I beat Harlan, I'm now the teamer champion. All right. Oh, you are now the teamer champion. Yeah. Wait, how did you lose te- teamer champion? Or did you, is Harlan the one that starts the teamer champion? And he always had it? Like, I need, I need to be filled in here. Um, I mean, I'm the teamer master. Team of Master. Okay. So apparently people say that. I don't know why. Because you're the only one in the world that can top eight an event with Teamer. So does Harlan. You're the only one in the world recently that's done that? It's, yeah, it seems like there's too many. In modern. In modern. Dude. So wait, where's my Twitter? <laughs> Come on, Matt. KCI does play Teamer, to be fair. Yeah, he does. It does. The red is only for Pyrite Spellbomb, though? They beat Ross Marion. I mean, I am the Phoenix Master. I beat. And I should be on the XG <laughs> I don't... If you were playing the Phoenix Mirror, Teddy... But there we go. <laughs> there we go. I am the Narnum Rob on Twitter, guys. Uh, Teddy, by that same logic, since I beat you, I'm a Grixis Shadow Master. Oh, the Grixis is just out there. Right. Just Guy versus Grixis Shadow is, like, you know, kind of a joke. As far as matchups go, and we got paired, so... Oh. P- poor Teddy. Yikes. Yep. Why play humans if you can play dead humans? I mean, at least they fly when they're dead. My favorite thing is when Spirits also has humans out. Yeah. You're sitting there like, you're, 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 they, they need to die to be relevant here. Yep. Like, just go ahead and kill your guys. Oh, yeah. All right. I finally got a new hat I'm happy about. Yeah, it's weird. You don't, you know, you don't have a beanie on. Yeah, so my last dead hat uh, was my hot mulligan one, and my dog ate it. Okay. I was not happy. I really like it. Was you know you know you know that old pink armadillo hat I had? Probably if I saw a picture. No no no. I, I do know. I yeah. do remember now. Yeah, my dog chewed it up. I'm like, I like this hat. There's an armadillo with a skateboard right here. So I was like, real friends. Yeah, it's another house head circle. Yeah, right. it's another pop punk band. I don't think I've seen it. Oh. Alright, there's eight minutes left. Yeah. I kind of want some water, so... Yeah. Uh, we're going to go to commercial break, a.k.a. Modern Replay, and you can talk smack about us in Twitch chat. See you guys later. Awesome.